द गर्ल बैंड ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर मे हैव क्विट बिकॉज नो वन इन द कश्मीर वैली हैव द करेज टू स्पीक अप फॉर देम टू स्टैंड बाय देम बट दीज थ्री गर्ल्स द स्पिरिट इज फार फ्रॉम ब्रोकन one of the members of this old girls band she told headlines today that she will obey the fatwa of the grand mufti of kashmir because he is the grand mufti but she does not believe that the fatwa is justified the mufti who is plainly delighting in having bullied three defenseless young girls is now gloating just look at these two voices that are coming in from jammu and kashmir today No, it is not justified. But this, all this, cannot happen in Kashmir, as it is against their ethics and morals. So I cannot help it. Why? 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 had to be disbanded the girls have shown their spirit is alive despite the threat to their lives they have courageously stood up to the grand mufti condemning this fatwa and in doing so these girls have gone far beyond political parties who are timid and who haven't questioned this fatwa in the proper manner in which it should have been questioned and criticized the politicians of jammu and kashmir should follow the lead of these young girls and reclaim the soul of kashmiriyat music is not anti islam that's what most scholars are telling us here on headlines today but fringe elements whether it's the huriyat conference or asia andarabi of the dukhtarane millat or such elements they don't want peace harmony and normalcy to return to jammu and kashmir these girls were singing for peace they were singing for harmony is that why voices are out to tell them tell these young girls to shut up is that what is happening in jammu and kashmir let's listen in to one of these girls her courage and the fact that she is now been told to just shut up let's listen in to them क्योंकि ग्रहण मुफ्ती ने हमारे अगेंस्ट फतवा इशू किया है वो बोल रहे हैं यहाँ है तो वी रिस्पेक्ट हिम वी रिस्पेक्ट हिज डिसीजन दैट इज व्हाई वी क्विट वी वी डेंट नो दैट द पीपल ऑफ कश्मीर आर अनहैप्पी विद अस बट नाउ दे आर सो वी क्विट Is is there any other reason that you quit because of the Facebook hatred messages that no, you got? No, no, we didn't quit because of that. So, Abhi, you know, music was your dream. So you have to give up on your dream today. Do you think it's justified for you as an individual that a statement like this has been issued against you? No, it is not justified. But this all this cannot happen in Kashmir as it is against their ethics and morals. So I cannot help it. अगर आपको गवर्नमेंट बोले सिक्योरिटी देने का और आपके फैमिली को सिक्योरिटी देने का क्या आप फिर म्यूजिक में यू नो ज्वाइन दी बैंड अगेन नो आई वांट तो विल यू एवर गिवन चांस विल यू एवर सिंग विल यू एवर परफॉर्म ऐसा कौन आई डोंट नो अभी आई डोंट नो फिलहाल के लिए वी क्विट आगे का वी डोंट सो हैव यू ऑल आई मीन ऑल द थ्री गर्ल्स हैव डिसाइडेड टू क्विट या वी डिसाइडेड टू क्विट तो ये जब कंट्रोवर्सी पैदा हुई आर यू इन टच विद अदर टू गर्ल्स उनके साथ बात हुई उनके साथ या या आई एम इन कांटेक्ट विद देम इज इट अ जॉइंट डिसीजन यू हैव टेकन या या इट्स अ जॉइंट डिसीजन बट गवर्नमेंट ऑन अदर हैंड दे हैव दे सेड वी विल कम टू योर रेस्क्यू वी विल सेव गार्ड यू वी विल प्रोटेक्ट यू वी डोंट नीड द सिक्योरिटी वेयर ओके the fatwa is unjustified but the girls are helpless headlines today has been reporting on the plight of pragash this first all girls band of kashmir in the past week very few voices have emerged from the valley supporting this band in fact shamefully a blame game continues to rage over the issuing of fatwa by the grand mufti of kashmir political parties are crying conspiracy clearly politics brewing 
over the issue while the victims of these extreme measures they've had no option but to disband what has the government done why did it have to come to this pass where these little girls have to hide and run for their lives i represent the 80% tolerant masses of jammu and kashmir state i do not represent the 10% completely collaborative setup of which the ruling party is a part or the 10% which is completely against the thing ya to wo kuch bolne se katra rahe hain ya to kuch bolna nahi chahte ya kisi tarike se wo is 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 mamle ko us mamle ke sath all we are hearing from our politicians are words words and more words not one of them went out not one of them reached out to these young girls not one of them held their hand and said we are here to support you you are the future of kashmir let the sound of music play in kashmir sadly that is not happening to that land that was once called paradise what's really stood out in the past 24 hours are double standards lies that the separatists have been dishing out what about what's happening on the streets of kashmir the separatists have rubbish talk of threats to the girls they're saying this is pure fiction they've condemned their music what they are saying just listen into the separatists yourselves they may with full confidence aapko bata dun ki main deny karu is baat ko ki in ye ladkiyan jo hain inko koi life threat hai yahan ye bilkul media isko is cheez ko bada raha hai टाइम when the rap singer was actually singing these so called pro azadi songs where he endorsed an anti establishment sentiment that the valleys separatists and terrorists stand for clearly one set of rules for these so called pro azadi voices and another set of rules for pragash who become victims of politics of the valley the big question is why did the separatists not condemn mc cash would the separatists have opposed the all girl band had they sung anti india songs and why is it that we are not waking up to the politics to the dirty politics that these separatists are playing out people like asia andrabi who will use an indian passport to send her son abroad for education but then say that this is anti music is anti islam and this is a cultural attack from india the valley remains divided on the issue of fatwa issue to these young girls the extremists are supporting the fatwa politicians even if they are paying lip service have condemned this mufti bashiruddin has a right to give fatwa at such occasions uh, this um, umar abdullah is concerned and he has said that uh, this is the talent of the girls actually this is a part of that uh, thrusted cultural aggression this is child's play i think uh, we don't we don't need fatwas for these things mm -hmm. here we have a different system mm -hmm. we are not governed by islamic law here mm -hmm. and i think that uh, it's very unfortunate we should let this controversy pass mm -hmm. and uh, create an atmosphere that these girls can again come back mm -hmm. on the stage mm -hmm. and uh, perform mm -hmm. as they will mm -hmm. because uh, uh, a large i think an overwhelming majority of people mm -hmm. in kashmir mm -hmm. do not approve of any forced mm -hmm. uh, uh, exiles clearly kashmir is no paradise if dreams of three young girls are crushed so brutally we'll track every twist and turn of the story closely charges have been framed against the former commonwealth games organizing committee chairperson suresh kalmadi and his right hand man lalit bhanot now the question is whether the two who so far maintained their innocent will they be sacked now that they've been charged sheeted 
Lalit Bhanot, despite the tainted image, was elected unopposed as the Secretary General of the Indian Olympic Association, an election after which the World Olympic Body, the IOC, suspended the IOA. Suresh Kalmadi, the former chief of the Commonwealth Games Organizing Committee, continues to be a Congress Party MP from Pune. Despite this campaign, he continues to hold on to the post of head of Asian Athletics Association. Why is it that these men are not being shown the door? There are serious charges against them. They've been charged sheeted under various sections of the IPC, including cheating, forgery, criminal conspiracy, and various other offenses under the Prevention of Corruption Act. After the charge sheet, what difference do the two have? Lalit Banot had earlier said, if proven guilty, I'll quit. Now that he's been charge sheeted, why is it that they are not being asked to quit? Why is the sports fraternity silent on this? India ke law mein to jab tak conviction na ho, hum usko convict nahi maante. Charge sheet to bahut logo pe hai, on minister pe rahi, chief minister pe rahi, MP. To lekin decision individual uska apna hai. Lalit Banot ka agar ko khud decision le, to usi ke par depend karta hai. Legal binding nahi hai. No, actually in terms of moral obligation. I think he should quit. Uh, he should quit because the charges are quite serious. And uh, this is a CBI special court. But if there is evidence that, you know, I've read in the papers, where they say there's a money trail, and there was an attempt to actually pre-qualify and make it a single bidder, uh, uh, you know, component in the offering of the timers for the Commonwealth Games, then I think it looks like an open and shut case. Commonwealth Games, ke mein jo kaand hua, prashtachar ka, us mein do bhaag the. एक तो खेलों का आयोजन और दूसरा दिल्ली में जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल प्रोजेक्ट्स थे और जिसकी कीमत कई हजार करोड़ रुपए थी उनमें सुरेश कुलमाली जी का कितना लेना देना था मैं नहीं जानता परंतु दिल्ली की मुख्यमंत्री श्रीमती शीला दीक्षित और उनके सहयोगी उसके लिए आवश्यक रूप से जिम्मेदार थे और ये सीएजी की रिपोर्ट में भी आया और मान्य प्रधानमंत्री जी ने जो एक कमेटी शुंग कमेटी इस मामले में बनाई उसमें भी आया डिफरेंट सेक्शंस में चार्ज लगाया है और उसमें गड़बड़ हुआ है तो हर एक जो पब्लिक में पब्लिक माइंड है उसको तो केयरफुल होकर काम करना पड़ेगा बीच में इतना करप्शन बढ़ गया इतना करप्शन बढ़ गया था वो लाख के चोरी में पकड़ा है नहीं तो करोड़ के चोरी में पकड़ा है तो एक हजार करोड़ का चोरी हो गया तो पुराना हो गया उन्हें चोरी 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 सुनते सुनते यहाँ की जनता भी जो है सो परेशान हो गई थी इसलिए जो समाज में ऐसा काम करेगा उसको सजा तो मिलेगी and joining me now to make sense of this big story is deputy editor shweta singh shweta help us make sense of this after this chart sheet after this latest development why is it that these tainted people are not being removed why can't they be impeached why is the sports fraternity silent They've been silent all through, Gaurav. Um, uh, remember the time when the CWG scam just broke out and Kalmadi was accused of all these things. There are charges framed now, but there were accusations at that time. And there were Indian Olympic Association members who came forward and said that there is a provision for impeachment. But the provision just remained a provision. Nobody wanted to act. And Gaurav, uh, for this, uh, we need to understand there is a rot that runs right through the system. The, the, the way that the National Sports Federations are elected, the way that the uh, various uh, state association heads are elected, everything is interlinked. The sports ministry under Ajay Makan had tried to make a lot of changes uh, in this system, but they were uh, unsuccessful at this, Gaurav. And Exactly yes. similarly, we can talk about the international federations where uh, Kalmari represents the Asian Athletics Association and office bearers of that association from various countries say they don't find anything wrong with it. You can understand how the system works and it is, uh, uh, we could say, a politics of vote inside the sports federations. Okay, for the moment, Shweta Singh, many thanks for joining me with these inputs. It's a very shameful situation. India is facing the brunt in Olympics already. Will we face the same situation in the Asian Games? That's the call that the sports fraternity, the sports ministry, even the Prime Minister's office needs to take.